Hi everyone, it's Maggie, and I'm just here with a quick project share. Um, I was in Joanne's one day last week, and I was looking at uh, the Tim Holtz aisle, and just to see if there was something that maybe I didn't have and could use, and it was 40% off. So I looked at these buckles, these here, his buckles. And normally, I think they're only either like $5.99 or $7.99. And I thought, well, with 40% off, you know, that's not much at all. And you get six buckles. You get two of the, um, I don't know if they're brass or bronze, two copper and two silver. So anyways, I just said, well, what are you going to do with belt buckles? And so I started to walk away. But then an idea hit me. And I said, you know what? I'm going to I'm going to get them and I'm going to try it. So I bought the Tim Holtz buckles. I have one left because I shared three of them with a dear friend and um I kept one silver, one of the copper to use and I just haven't used this bronzy one. So, uh the first one I made was with the silver and this is what I came up with. It's a necklace, and this is the bottom of it. And I wanted to use some of my Arta Cake pieces. I have so many of them, and yet I've only used a couple of pieces in past uh, projects. And I thought this was really a good way of using, you know, some of them up. So this is the Arta Cake piece that I chose for this one because it's silver. It's got rhinestones and pearls, so how can you go wrong? And then I just made these two little dangle pieces for on either side um, with some beads that I had. I added jump rings to the three of them, and then I just added them to the buckle part right there. And I thought it came out really cute, and I will wear it. Or I'll give it away, but either way, it'll get worn. So that was my silver one. And then for the copper one, I had some copper chain. I used this one because I love, I just love this piece. I think I have, I know I have one more that I could use at some point, and then one on a project that Malika, who is Aola Cards and Crafts. Hi, Malika. Um, she made a project for me, and she put one of these on a birdcage, and it looks beautiful on there. So when I saw it on her birdcage, I just love the copper, and I really wanted to use mine in some way. And so I was able to use this one on the copper piece, the copper buckle, and the chain. And then I made these two dangles to put on either side. And there's more room if I want to add like another, you know, like a small charm or another dangle, which I probably will because it. I'm not sure if this is really hanging the way I, whoops, sorry, hanging the way I want it to. So what I might even do is lower this piece a little bit so that these aren't falling off to the sides and maybe adding a couple of uh, small, um, you know, different pieces, charms, or even more beads. But anyways, that's my second um, project. So now I just have the bronze one left to use. So I thought, um, and they were so quick and easy. Um, all I had to do was basically add a jump ring to this. I already had these dangles made, so I just had to add a jump ring to those and add them to the buckle and then put it on a um, a chain. And I also had some small lobster claw clasps in um, silver and copper. And so I was able to make a complete necklace. And I really like how they came out. I tried them on and I think they look fine. So that's my little project share for today. Uh, if you'd like, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. And... Um, I'll be back again soon with another video. So thanks for watching, everyone. See you later. Bye.